Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, the director and founder of the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic. Now today we'll be discussing about menstrual migraines. So, do you suffer from menstrual migraines? Do you know what menstrual migraine is? Or do you know how to help your own migraines? So hopefully after today's video, you'll have a full appreciation of what menstrual migraine is and how you can combat your own migraines. Now, migraines in general is regarded as the second most common headache disorder to have after tension type headache. Menstrual migraines is also regarded as the top five most disabling condition that a female can suffer from in the world. So, um, what is menstrual migraines? So basically, females who suffer from migraines, 60% of them will have some form of menstrual related migraines, which can be separated into two tiers. The first one can be called pure menstrual migraine. The second is called uh, menstrual related migraines. So what's the difference between, between the both? Pure menstrual migraine is basically when a female has a migraine that only occurs once a month and only occurs during that time of the period. And it may fall between the first three days of the period or on the day of the period or three days after the period. Compare that with uh, menstrual related migraines. This occurs when you have an attack during that time of the, of the period, but you may also have a headache and migraine outside of that period. So that means in a month's time, uh, uh, you may have multiple headaches and multiple migraines. So, um, what have you tried? And how have you combated with your own menstrual migraines? I'll let you know that one of the most common signs or things that our patients try is that one, they may try to stay on the pill for an extensive amount of time, or they may have the marina inserted into the body, or the third thing is they may um, be on a lot of medications such as hormonal replacement therapies. Now all these three things may assist with menstrual migraines, but it doesn't necessarily treat the cause of the problem, and is not necessarily the safest way to help menstrual migraines. So, the question is, what causes menstrual migraines? I'll let you know the old theory. Now, the old theory was thought that uh, when uh, females have their menstrual migraines, basically they have an abnormal fluctuations of their hormones. And because of that, because the hormones are up and down during that time of the month, that's what was thought which caused headaches and migraines. Now, that has actually been proven false. And the new research and evidence actually shows that those who suffer from menstrual migraines compared to those with no menstrual migraines, their hormones are actually the same and identical, and that there is no abnormal fluctuations through their hormones. So then, what is the cause? So, the new research shows that those with menstrual migraines all have one common thing. And that common thing is that they all have a sensitized brainstem. So the brainstem is basically located below the brain, goes as low as the first three segments in the neck, and it helps to transfer information from the body and up into the brain. So those with menstrual migraines have a very overactive and a hypersensitive brainstem. So what does that mean when they have the periods? So basically, when a female has the period, there is a normal drop in estrogen levels. Because um, the migraine sufferer has a very sensitive brainstem, it will then think that that drop in estrogen is actually a big threat or drops lower than normal. Because of that, it, it creates a big warning sign to the body. It thinks it's a big threat, and that's what will then create pain that can shoot up and over into the head. It will basically think that when you have your period that it is a catastrophic event when in fact it is actually not. So when a female has a menstrual migraine they will have tremendous pain into the head, you may then suffer from nausea or vomiting, you may be sensitive to the light, sound and smell and you may even have altered visions as well. So how can you help with your own menstrual migraines? The golden question. I'm going to ask you a question. 
Have you had your brainstem assessed? And especially the top three segments of your neck assessed to see whether that is the cause of your menstrual migraines? If you haven't had that assessed, then I would highly recommend that you see one of us at the team here at the Brisbane Headache and Migraine Clinic. We can then perform a thorough assessment to see whether your brainstem is the cause of your menstrual migraines. If it is, and if we can prove that it is the cause, then the chances are that, is that then we should be able to help, assist, manage, or stop your menstrual migraines. Hopefully today you have a good understanding of menstrual migraines. My name is Bertram Dirk and thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or call us on 1-800-HEADACHE.